With shout of cock, hi everybody, Johnny Lion, Hobo Deep Host. <laughs> look, look. Look, look. My beard is coming in really nice, man. The queen loves it, man. She loves it. Look, she loves it. I love it. All right, so look. Today we're working on, um, well, I got some parts from um, Kubiki, Philip Kubiki LLC. So I got, I got new wheels. See that wheel? And new uh, pull locks. See the locks right there? And I got some more stuff that I got to put on. Uh, these are the, the bite down locks. They they go right here. See that right there? See those little switches? Those? I got to get them out. Well, let's, let's, well, hang with me for a while because we're going to take all this stuff out. All right, so a lot of people don't work on Cubicis. I work on mine. So if I had to work on yours, I would I would get it. You know what I'm saying? All right. So this the strange thing about Cubicis is that man is that you cannot with with the, the these um, saddle things you cannot bite down on it really hard, and that's what you know happened here, and so. I got to figure out a way to get them out. There is a way to get them out without tearing up stuff. <clears throat> As you can see, somebody had already been eating, eating the inside of it up. But I'm changing the wheels and the locks. And it's real easy to change the wheels and lock. What you have to do is um, what I did. Look, I don't know what you got to do, but I know what I did. I right, said so what I did was you take a little... You could take a a, a a needle nose or a flat. I took I took a knee I take a needle nose, but you could take you could take a flathead screwdriver and and go between the springs like this. Look, and then pop the springs out, and they will pop right out. And then once you pop them out, in fact, let me let me do the other one. All right, that's the first one. Let me do another. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you one. Look. If you hang, I'll show you. So look, but if you don't hang, I can't show you. All right, so look. All right, so here we go. This is exciting because this is my Kubiki, so yeah, I'm learning from my Kubiki. All right, and I'm replacing springs. So here we go. So, so there's the spring. It's pretty old. It's probably original. Let's put the light down so you can see it. All right, so it's pretty old. And pretty original. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the screwdriver here and go between it. And when I go between it, I'm going to just pop it out like this. See that? That tells me that that spring is pretty weak because it, it just popped right out. So you pop it off the ledge and then you can just pull it out like this. Once you get it off the ledge and get it away from the wheel, the wheel will just come right out like that. See? And it fits right back like that. All right. This wheel looks pretty good. It's got some bite marks on it, but not really, really bad. This ain't the wheel I'm going to replace. I'm going to just replace the spring. So once I get the wheel off, I can just take the spring and pull it away from it. Like this. Pull it away. She don't want to leave. I understand, girl. You've been with her for a long time. One side is off. The other side, do the same thing you did on this side. Just basically, oh, see, comes right off. So these are two arc I got off already. These two right here. All right. You have to be careful because if you break this, it's all over. All right, so let me replace the other spring in this one. These are the lock. They call these the locking springs. I ordered. I order a few of them because I got a I got another buddy that has my old um Kubiki that, that came from Stu Ham. That well it, it Stu Ham had it on tour. And he ain't touched that Kubiki since I gave it to him. That's been ten years now. So that means he ain't put no strings or nothing on it, which is really sad. But he don't know how to and I guess he's afraid, which and he has a right to be. But God don't give us a a spirit of fear. So he needs to unfearfully bring it to me. <laughs> Look, so I can fix it. All right, so. 
it goes like this. So basically, what I'm going to do is go on this side. Look, watch this. See how the spring is? So I'm going to go on this side and put this side on first. Uh oh. Okay, once you get one side on, the other side will just pop right on. All right, so I gotta take my time with this because it has one side. And then I'll just take my little screwdriver and go and grab it and go to the other look and grab it and just pull it to the other side and put it on like that. See? And it's on. And you just push it down. All right, you gotta put your wheel on back on. So what I usually do is pull it down like, and once you push it down, the wheel will pop right on. You push that down, and the wheel will pop right on. All right, so this is this is uh, E A. Now, to get it out, you just just take your little screwdriver and push the sleeve all the way through. All right. So I'm I'm doing it one at a time, so I don't want to you know the sleeve. I want the sleeve to be in there. But I'm going to pull the sleeve all the way out. But anyway. So this is the one that's jacked up. See see how it's all bit up? That comes from a screwdriver. Alright. That's what that is. See that all bit up and stuff like that? Alright. So, like I told you. Just take a just take a flat screwdriver or a needle nose pliers and pull it away from it. Like that. And the whole thing will pop right off. Woohoo! Don't make, don't make me upset now. <laughs> Look. All right, see? See how easy that was? And then the wheel will come right out like that. All right? Because it's in that sleeve right there. Wheel goes through. And, it, and the wheel has an indention on the inside anyway, so it just slots right in. So it'll roll. So I'm replacing this wheel because this wheel is jacked. I'm going to put my new wheel on. Where's my new jumps? I said jumps. Is that a word? Jumps? Where's my new jumps at? All right, so I'm gonna put this in the back in the bag because you never know. I may have to use it later, which I hope not. But anyway, so first thing we do is we're gonna put the clamp on. Y'all, this is this fun? You the hobo deep post. <laughs> All right, so first, first they like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> first we put the um, clamp on. Clamp on, clamp off. Not the wrong one. That's the wrong commercial. All right, so, so we already know that the clamp has to go this way. Let me look, let's show you that. It has to go that way. All right, see that? It has to go that way so you can push it down to unlock it. So, you guys already know how to do it now, so I ain't got to put it back at the camera. I can just take my hand and just, you can take your hand and slide it right on, though. You ain't got to use a screwdriver. But you got to have scrints. You got to have good scrints. <laughs> They're like, what? what is a scrint? Scrints. You got to have... <laughs> some of my people in Carolina go, boy, you, you, got, some, you got some good scrints. <laughs> scrints. <laughs> Write that down. All right, so once... All right, so we're going to put a new wheel on. We're going to slide it down like this. And the new wheel just pops right on. And watch this. Woohoo! Baby doll. All right, so that's the D. All right, and now we're gonna take. Uh oh, now we're gonna take out the G. And that's the shaft. Philip, Philip was a smart cat, man. He's just a, he's just a smart cat. All right, so this got a little damage on it too, but I'm, I'm gonna let this ride. All right, so we're not gonna. It's not bad. We'll just go ahead and take this off. And the raw, put the new jumps. I said jumps again. Put the new jumps on. Yeah, baby girl. Yeah. So, so, the pandemic, well, Virginia has allowed us to open up um, some of our restaurants and stuff like that. And so, that means, that means cats are out gigging. That's what that means. So I had my first gig this weekend. It was really nice, y'all. It was. Honestly, it was really nice. You know, I was all masked up. 
and everything. And it was cool. Alright, so we have so the young lady, her name is Carla. Carla sent me the, the directions of how to take the assembly out. Well, basically, I already took the joint out. Problem is, they damaged, and so now I gotta I gotta do that that thing that I don't want y'all see me do. Because with these, um, whoo, kind of screwdriver is that? Oh, with with these um, lock locking things, you really. You really shouldn't. You really shouldn't tight them. Tight. I said tight them. You should. You shouldn't tight them. You really shouldn't bite down on them really hard. All right. So I got to figure out a way to get this out of here because obviously she don't want to come out. So if I read the instruction, will it tell me how to get them out? Uh, actually, this will slide right out. So I'm gonna. <clears throat> And that's another thing. I'm glad I took. I'm glad I took the bridge apart because now I can take the saddles out. And that was an issue for me too. The saddles were they were they was really really tight, and they don't supposed to be tight. You're supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Um. You're supposed to be able to take them loose with your hands. Look, supposedly. But you know, you notice I'm using the crescent wrench, and using the crescent wrench not good. So that means I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little graphite on this. So it, it'll uh oh look one of them jumps that came out. <laughs> look, one of them jumps that came out. So if that won't come out, the rest of them will come out. Look at that. Okay, there, there's buttholes. Buttholes don't wanna come out. But I, I gotta take this out anyway, so 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 it should be easy to come out once I get this out. But these um, saddles, supposedly, um, not supposed to be this hard to take out. That's what Carla told me. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure. Look at that. Okay, what on that? I don't wanna beat that out. Ooh, that ain't good. Oh, I see. This is the one that somebody been biting down on, so it might be kind of difficult to come out because it's got a snag on it. That ain't good. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna, because I gotta take them all out anyway. Y'all didn't see me beat on it, did you? No, you didn't do that. I normally don't do that, but she's pretty damaged. I should have got a saddle. I should have got a whole unit. And that way I could have put brand new stuff back on the base and she'd have been brand new. Brand new, brand new. <laughs> Not that much brand new though. All right, so we gonna see if you just slide right on through. Come on down, girl. There you go. Here she come. All right, so we gonna loosen up because that's what the problem. The problem is you can't bite down on these things really hard, and they go the opposite direction. See, this loose already, so I just need to go behind it and tap it just a little bit persuaded okay all right so i got i got them out and what i and what i need to do is whoo look at that somebody done bit down well you can't see it but i need to take a, a file and i need to file that down and then paint the whole unit that's what i'm gonna do that's why i'm taking my time to do it all right so while we got these out carla sent me some new ones and you just take them screwing them out. The heads of these things have been pretty much not good. <laughs> Is that a word? Pretty much not good? No, they're not good. Pretty much not good. Use that one. Look, I didn't read the instructions. All right, so we're going to take these out. And we're going to put the new ones in. And actually... Um, we're gonna use graphite. See this stuff right here? This is called graphite lube. All right, so I'm gonna use that, but I don't want to use it on my table because it can get to be, it can get to be kind of nasty. So I'm gonna find a paper. 
plastic bag. Hey, I bought some gloves too. Look, I bought some gloves. Twenty dollars for how many gloves in here? Fifty gloves. That's just robbery, highway robbery. All right, so I might open up and use them. Look, might as well. For twenty dollars, nineteen ninety, man, that's just crazy and nest. In case y'all didn't know, twenty dollars for gloves that used to cost six ninety nine. I should have bought a thousand boxes when they were six ninety nine. All right, so um, I'm going to put a. I tell you, what, I'm gonna put a cover down because I'm using graphite now, and using graphite, it can be. All right, so get my little trusted t-shirt here. The queen let me have my t-shirts, my old ones. So we can move these out of the way, put these over here back in the box in trash. Carla sent me a lot of stuff. So we're gonna put all this stuff over here. So we're gonna take the graphite and open it up and open it up. I lost the top to it, so I had to put tape on it. In case y'all didn't know. Alright. So. I'm going to put this over here. Put this over here. Put this over here. And put this over here. And. Lay this right here. Alright. So these are the screws. That goes into the body. To, to, to solidify it down to the, to the bridge to the body. I'm going to take graphite that I just had, and I'm going to graphite them too. See, roll them in the graphite. And you ask me, so why would you put graphite on those? Uh, I just want them loose. You know, I don't want them loose, loose, but. Okay. Y'all yeah, yeah, notice I'm looking at. What's it, Incredibles? Two, one, two. All right, so. Man, let's open this up. There we go. All right, so we got graphite on this. Just roll it around a little bit. Graphite on this. Pick it up and roll it around a little bit. All right, so now we enter the screws. What I want to do, and I'm going to take these out because I want to put gra graphite on these. And this graphite is a lubricant too. It's a lube. It's a very, very fine. They call it extra fine. I want to get it inside the um, the chambers. I said chambers. Yeah, I want to get it inside the chambers. All right, so here's the chamber. I'm going to put a little bit in there. And while I got it, the screw out, I'm going to work the screw back and forth. It's like making a cake. No, it's not. But I want this able. I want this um, this saddle loose enough where I can I can basically turn it with my hand. I don't want to use a screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver. You know, that's when that's when issues come out. Issues come out when you can't turn stuff with your with your hand. That's supposed to be. Whew, I got too much. That's supposed to be turned with your hand. You know, and I could use WD-40 too. And that would be good. But this is kind of tight, so I'm going to I'm gonna bite down back and forth. I'll keep going back and forth with it. And as graphite touches each other, it, it cuts, loosens up. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. See, this could be messy, man. So, I'm glad I'm doing it now. Because I got everything apart. Isn't this fun? This is what I do, man. At the Hobo Depot. And I take it away, all the way to the end. Because you might have to take it all the way down. And take it all the way back out.
See, it's pretty loose now. See, it's supposed to be, I like that right there. You just take it in. You can do it with your hands. That means, see? I like this, man. I lot this a lot. I lot. <laughs> a lot. All right, so, so we're going to keep on doing this. Woo! Woo! All the way down. Woo! Twist it, twist it, all the way down. All the way down, all the way down. Back, back off. Now, for me to back, back off, I need to be able to do it with my hands. And that let me know I'm cool. See? I'm cool. That means I can turn this with my hand. All right, while I got it out, though, you know what? I thought I had some WD. 40. But I, I do and I don't. I think I took it in the other shop. Oh man. Let's check something out. I mooded it, and when I mooded it, it got lost in it. I mooded it, I took it to the other shop. I was working on the cutlass, and I think I had to use it for something. Let's look around one more time. Nope. All right, we keep with the, we keep with the graphite. All right, so this one is good. And so, I don't have, it ain't good yet, because I ain't got the new screw in it yet. Here's the old screw. Here's a new screw. All right, so I'm gonna put my hand on the bottom, bottom of this because I want that graphite in there. Okay, new screw. Look at that. Nice. All right, so that's one down. Woo, this joint is tight. So we're going to just back her right on back off. And you know, guys, you can stay with me for the rest of the day, but the video going to have to stop because, man, it's getting too long. All right, but I, you guys, I want you to know that, you know, the Hobo Depot, man, I appreciate everybody that comes by. All my subscribers that comes by the Hobo Depot. <laughs> it, it, see me, it see me working? That is so cool, man. That's like having you guys here talking to you at the same time. Like, dude, what's been going on, man? All right, what's happening, bro? Yeah, all right, all right. Young lady, what's happening? What's happening? How your base thing coming? Good, huh? All right, cool, cool. All right. So, let's stick this back in there. Oh, nice. Back and forth. Remember, yeah, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you can get it to do it with your hands. I wish I had some WD-40, but I don't know where I put it. Look, I keep saying that. Where you put the WD-40? I don't know. I don't know. Some of the elves or somebody came in and moved it. You gotta put it on somebody else. The elves came in and moved that joke. Where they moved to? I don't know, but I wish they bring it back. <laughs> they always barge stuff at night. Could at least wait till I get in in the morning. See, this one's kind of really tight. So, I'm, what I want to do, I want to take this, take this out. Because I think taking this out will loosen it. Oh. oh, here we go. It's got to be one. It's got to be one. There we go. I'm going to put some juice on it. It's got to be one. Just got to be one. I know people are like, why don't you put it in the vice? That means I got to get up. <laughs> Look, go outside. 
I don't want to get up and go outside. I just want to do it right here. So I'm going to tighten this down as much as I can. See, there's the issue. The issue was this has been tightened down so hard that it don't want to come out. I gotcha! Uh-huh, huh? You thought you could get away with it, didn't you? Huh? Uh-huh. Y'all remember that song? I think who's that by? I can't remember who's by. From the from the sixties. I gotcha. Uh-huh. Huh? You thought you'd get away with it, didn't you? Yep. Uh-huh. I can't think of who wrote that. Rufus Thomas. Rufus Thomas wrote that joke. The bass line was cool. All right, so we're going to back this out because we got the, the main locking screw down. And we're going to pull it all the way out. And, um, of course, before I put all this stuff back in, I'm going to buff it. You know, buff the chrome so it'll look nice and shiny. Look, nice and shiny. See, I've been doing this all this time. I only got one done. But... Uh oh, uh oh. Oh man. Got graphite on my shirt. The queen is not gonna be happy. Honey, what is this? Uh I don't know. Look, I'll tell you later. I think the elves did it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you for coming by my, my channel, checking me out in the Hobo Depot. Uh oh, I done lost something. Good thing about a clean floor, you can find stuff. <laughs> Look. Good thing about a clean floor. All you gotta do is look down and you can find stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking out the Hobo Depot. I'm working on the Kabiki Factor. Putting on the new wheels and new bridge and new locking tuners down. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that I love you all my heart, all my soul. Don't forget my new CD is out. The walk, you can get it from Spotify or you can order from me hard copies i don't want to put my hands on it but here we go all right that's the hard copy it's called the walk and it's on spotify it's on cd baby is on amazon is on wherever you can buy cds that's where it is but i want you guys to get hard copies you just contact me at b as in boy o o t as in tom j as in jack a as in apple k as in karen the number seven at yahoo.com and you can get a Hobo Depot t-shirt, y'all. I got a Hobo Depot. I don't have one on because I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> Look, I should have one on, though. So you can get a Hobo Depot t-shirt. Um, Hootie got some new shirts coming out. And the Shot of Kaka shirts are coming out. That should be coming out um, in two weeks. But um, if you want to order a CD, like I said, you can get a package deal. You can get a CD. A hard copy CD and a t-shirt for one low price call a package deal. So hit me up, folks. I got 30,000 subscribers. If every one of y'all get a t-shirt and a CD, the Hobo Depot will keep on running and running and running and running and running. Shout out to Kaga, folks. We out. Peace. Oh, dude. Y'all see Hootie over there? He ain't said nothing the whole morning. He's been out. He's He's been busy. <laughs> Good thing about a clean floor is that you can find stuff. <laughs>